Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. It is snowing up in the Pacific Northwest. This is Timberline Lodge up at Mount Hood. It snowed last night, most of today. They're reporting about a foot of new snow up there. And this is the first of two cold fronts that will affect um, the Intermountain West. So this one will run down and become a, a nice cold front for Utah and Wyoming and even parts of Colorado. And then there's another one that will develop behind all this. Um, but watch the rain snow line. It's going to start very high in parts of Utah, Wyoming, Colorado ahead of all this. And then it will gradually step down in time. Um, and the coldest air from most places will come in after the second storm system, the second cold front. In the Wasatch, most of the snow is going to come on 1026. The second front will kind of will kind of miss it, may brush it on the way through, but it's mainly going to be a Colorado and potentially southern Wyoming type cold front. Um, in Colorado, you'll get a little bit of snow from 1026, but the bigger comes with that last cold front, 1028 and 1029. All right, let me show you what this actually looks like right now. Uh, the water vapor satellite, there's our big low. We talked about this yesterday, really anchoring the pattern. It's not going to move much. There's that low affecting the Pacific Northwest. Look at the energy already diving down behind it. That will become our second cold front. So what's happening is this big low is just anchoring and then there's a big amplification of the jet and then it's dipping down like this and running through here. So this is where all the energy is coming from, right in here and diving down. That's the way that these, these two cold fronts are going to track. In fact, let me show that to you. Uh, right here, this is the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the current situation. Here we are tomorrow morning. So that, that uh, cold front is, is slamming into the Wasatch, the Tetons, big sky. Rain over to snow, quickly. And then by tomorrow night, it's brushing the central and northern mountains of Colorado, but snow levels are very high in Colorado with this. Colder air wraps in behind, it's all snow for most of Wyoming. And then that storm exits. And here comes the next front. And there it is, you can see it taking shape on Friday afternoon, Friday night, coming south through Idaho, Montana. And it kind of brushes the Wasatch. This is Saturday at 6, but it's, it becomes a much more serious front for Colorado. And that's Saturday at 6, already in place. And there it is, Saturday afternoon, um, rain changing to snow. So while it may start as rain in Aspen, it will change over to snow. And that'll be the case in a lot of places in Colorado as the cold air pours in. It will change to snow. And there it is by Sunday morning, still snowing. Uh, most of it is all snow at this point across Colorado because the colder air has come in. Now, I will say that in the last 24 hours, the trend has been for higher totals in Colorado. The orientation of the jet, which I'm going to show you, um, is going to play a critical role in that. And then that storm exits on the final frame there Sunday in the afternoon. It moves out and skies will clear and that'll be some of the that will be the coldest air of the season so far in Wyoming and Colorado I expect below zero temperatures by Monday morning um, over a large section of the mountains in Wyoming and in Colorado um, I did write about it today I've kept this blog updated today chrystomer.com check it out um, that was a shot from uh, Timberline this morning um, there's the setup now the forecast jet stream let me take this full so this is the forecast jet stream on Saturday late in the day. Um, big dip, we call that a trough, opens the door for the cold air to come down. But also I want you to notice, look at the orientation of the jet across Colorado. Um, southwest to northeast orientation, it's powerful. There's um, some, some really good um, orographic setting up there. Now what may potentially happen is, this could set up what we call some conditional instability. Symmetric instability, CSI. We could be looking at some banding features through the I-70 corridor, the West Elks across I-70. That could really increase some of the totals in Colorado. We could be looking at some snow squall action. That is a possibility between Saturday and Sunday morning. Just something to watch out for. Back to the blog just quickly here. Um, forecast radar satellite, we looked at that. Uh, bulk of accumulation in the Wasatch 1026, Tetons 2526, and bulk of snow accumulation Colorado 102829. So there are the updated numbers, and I put those in this afternoon. Let me show you what these look like. So between uh, today and the 27th, anywhere from 6 to 10, 6 to 12 across the Tetons, um, 
and six plus up there in Montana. Of course, it's already snowing up there, so we're just looking at residual here on this map. But about 10 for Alta Snowbird, um, less as you work your way up to Park City. And that snow does brush the center of the northern mountains of Colorado with one to two, one to three. Now, here's what I'm talking about. So this is a 1028, 1029, maybe a little bit of leftover snow in Wyoming and in the Wasatch. But in Colorado, we're looking at anywhere from 8 to 16 inches across the central to northern mountain corridors. And again, we could be looking at some banding features with that symmetric instability. Um, and that's, that's a really good shot of snow all the way from Aspen snow mass, you know, higher up. Uh, in town, it starts as rain. So we're really looking at some of the best accumulations, you know, above 9, 10,000 feet. But then that level will fall. Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Um, about a foot up there in the Continental Divide, Loveland A Basin, Winter Park, Cameron Pass. Um, they all should do well out of this, especially once the cold air pours in. And again, these are mid-mountain forecast totals. So this is not in town. This is These are mid-mountain totals. Um, I think there was one other thing I wanted to mention on the blog. I had some specialty information here at the end. Talked about the trending up totals in Colorado. Explained what that's all about and also a little temperature forecast for birth that passed. Like I was saying, on uh, Monday morning, it looks like we could be below zero in a lot of mountain town, mountain locations in Colorado. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.